Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own GD texture pack. So first of all, go to www.getpaint.net and get it right here. You click it, <laughs> and then you go back. Actually, no, you and then you go uh right here. And then you go to .pdn and click this and download it. Then what you want to do is uh, go to your Steam. Go to Games, View Games Library. Then right click Geometry Desk. Go to Properties. Go to Local Files. Browse Local Files. Go to Resources. And then search, uh, or just scroll down to, or put in gj underscore game cheat 2 hd Sorry guys for the hiccups, I'm very hiccupy today. And then open it with paste.net. And then you should get this. And then take the zoom tool and zoom in. Not that far. Well, no. Keep zoomed out. And then once you find the icon you want to ch change, zoom into it. Take either the pencil or the paint bucket. I use full colors usually, but today we're going to be using pencil. Take, like, if you want this one, take what I would do. Is take black and fill in the eyes. You guys will see what I'm doing in a second. Oopie, I messed it up. If you mess up, just press this right here, undo, and it will uh, undo what you have done. Ah. <laughs> and then what you want to do is click save, press OK, and then zoom out to make sure it looks exactly what you wanted it to look like, and it does, and then close this af after you've saved it, like save it, and then close, and then just minimize this, close this, and then run Geometry Dash, <laughs> so since I already had it open, I had to run it again. Again, and then my playtime is a ton. But uh, then you open it back up, and then you have your custom icon. And you can do this with, with every single icon that you have unlocked. And then I changed the orb as well. But uh, that's how you you make your own icon, and then. So if you want to change your, uh, if you want to change your, um, if you want to change your, uh, your, um, your orbs or something, just do the same thing. Browse local files. I'm going to resources. Now what you're going to do is instead of doing uh, three, you're gonna go to GJ underscore game sheet oh three dash HD and then press open with and press paint.net and then you get this. What you do is you scroll into the the thing you want to change, like as I did, I'll tell you guys in a second. Hold on, where is it? Um, so I changed orbs, but I have no idea where they are, so hold on, guys.
right here. What I did was zoom in, and I just put little faces on them. And you right click to zoom out, and click to zoom in. Um, you can do whatever you want here, guys. Um, I don't know. I'll give it a darker blue shade on, on it's like right here. Now guys, we're just gonna, now what you wanna do, after you're done with doing whatever you wanna do, click save again, press ok, then close this again, close this, close this, press play on geometry dash. And then as you can see, the orbs have faces on them now. And I changed a bunch of different icons. You can change ships. And guys, if you do this, right click, properties, local files, barrels, local files, resources, and then go to GJ game sheet. O2 HD. O2 HD, and then making a video. Open with paint not net. Yeah, um, and then you can, as you can see. On this, there's every single icon. So yeah, I changed this, I changed that, changed these three, this one, that one, that one. I changed that. I changed this robot, this wave. Actually, just so you guys can see, we're gonna do another wave. I'm gonna do this one. What I was gonna do for this one was blue inside and then yep yeah, I guess yellow inside blue outside and red bottom I don't know why I just sprung the head and then again save it press ok close it close this close this Press stop if you have it open. And then press play again. <laughs> and then you have your custom chip. You can do the same thing with ball, UFO, wave, robot, and spider. And I hope you guys have your best day ever. Bye! Bye!